about half of this for this dish right here. You have everything in its place before you start cooking. All right, guys. Now you can see the pancetta is is working pretty hard right there. Nothing too crazy about this. If you've cut onions before, you kind of know what to do. So we're just gonna do an onion. You're not gonna cut all the way through. You're just gonna cut to the end right there. And here we go. I'm just gonna chop this. Once it's in, I mean, you really kind of, you have to keep an eye on it because it, as it cooks out, it gets thicker and thicker to really like that scrambled egg consistency. We're going to let this go for a while. Let's see what happens. You can also like from scratch, but all you got to do is lop off the root side, I guess that is, right? cooked enough where, where they soften up a little bit. And uh, you know you can just pop, pop the peels right off them. And after you're done with that, it leaves this nice little little onion side. There we go. Don't be scared of the salt. Going skin side down, right there in the pan. Some time. Finish it with some butter, but I'm gonna go over that after uh, after we let this cook out throughout and get it all uh, up to temperature and cook throughout. So, so we got chopped garlic right there. Like I said, butter heat uh, It's it's good for your cholesterol. It's it's a superfood, and a lot of people obviously. I mean, everyone knows about the kale smoothies and all the. Now we gotta season it out again. Like season everything. And look at that! Look at that right there! Boom! Boom. <laughs> look at that! We got our cheeses. So a little bit of mascarpone right there. Parmesan Reggiano. Can't go wrong with that. And on an Italian dish. And it goes and everything. And I'm gonna shave that all up in there. Oh yeah, get some. Oh yeah. Now we have our cipollini onions right here and our pancetta that we reserved from earlier. Let's go right in. Turn it down a little bit so we don't burn them. And this is gonna be the sauce. Guys, it's go time. We're gonna do plate up. We got our polenta right here that we preserve. It's going right now. We're going next. Oh yeah, looking good. That's gonna go right on. We're gonna cut these into three. You could leave it whole, but I like to cut it up into some more manageable pieces. Now he's ripping hot. This, this beautiful crispy chicken breast right here. Um, got that nice creamy polenta that we did from scratch as well. Uh, you got the braised tuscan kale, and we also have that nice little ragu of the tomato confit, the pancetta that we reserved from earlier. And we've cooked everything pretty much into the pancetta oil itself that we rendered out. And we have those chipotle onions that are going to be nice and caramelized and super sweet and really just just set the whole dish.